Democrats. But first, we want to take a look at how everyone can help close racial and ethnic health gaps. An important topic as we wrap up this National Minority Health Month and also stew on some of the disparity lessons that the pandemic has taught us. Because as WCNC Charlotte's Carolyn Brooks shows us, COVID has only made these gaps wider, especially when it comes to heart health. About 660,000 people die from heart disease every year in the United States. That's one in every four deaths. The case count only getting worse. There's over 6 million individuals with heart failure at the current time, and that number is expected to increase to over 8 million by 2030. Black Americans are diagnosed at a disproportionate rate. Black Americans are at an increased risk of developing heart failure. They develop heart failure at an earlier age and their outcomes with heart failure are worse than their white counterparts. Dr. Ashkan Hayadavudi says the reason for this is twofold. African-American, again, for a variety of reasons, have a higher rate of uncontrolled blood pressure, of diabetes and obesity, ultimately lending them to a higher uh, risk of developing heart failure. And then we have the factors behind the factors, the economic variations between ethnicities, races, the access to information, the access to work, access to nutrition, uh, access to care. The pandemic has only made things worse. Like many chronic diseases, um, heart failure management has gotten worse uh, just because um, the patients weren't able to see their doctors. So what can people do to lower their risk? Dr. Haya Davuti says lower your salt intake, lower your fat intake, and increase your physical activity. Also, have a clear line of communication with your doctor. Carolyn Brooke, WCNC Charlotte. More money.